I'm like all messed up. I'm really sick. Bad bitch boots. We could actually know someone. We have a mutual. We know someone like. Primer. Primer. It's just such a sexy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with my monthly favorites, and it's crazy that it's about to be December. Literally tomorrow it's gonna be December. So I gathered up all of my favorites, and I don't know if it's because. I've been working from home now that I'm actually like I have a lot of favorites this month like I have a ton of favorites this month so I have them separated as you guys always know food stuff I have makeup some skin I have shoes clothes all that stuff so if you guys want to see what I was loving in the month of November then just keep on watching okay so the first thing I'm gonna start with I'll just start with the food I guess even though it's not really food but last month if you guys have watched my video from TJ Maxx I believe it was a huge TJ Maxx haul I bought this and I was super nervous about how to use it I wanted to make my coffee perfect like I wanted it to be like an abuela was making your coffee and if you're Spanish you know exactly what I mean so I literally watched YouTube videos and I made about six cups of coffee until I got it perfect so what you do is because I, I was like how the hell do you use this contraption you fill this bottom part, this bottom part unscrews. So you fill this bottom part up to underneath this little screw with water. You There's a little insert that goes under, like on top of it and you fill that with coffee and then you screw this on top and then you just put it on the stove. So I love it because it's been taking me like two seconds. I literally put the coffee or put the water, sit it down, put the coffee, put this thing on and while this is heating up, I take a cup and I put a little bit of milk in it. I'm very specific on how I like my coffee, which I'm sure everybody is. So I put a little bit of milk in it and I put it in the microwave because I want the milk to be warm so that when I pour this, it doesn't make it cold from the milk being cold. So I put that, I'm getting, I'm sick, so I'm getting really stuffy. So I'll put this, pour the coffee in there and then I add just one teaspoon of sugar and it's perfect. It literally is so good. It tastes like you're getting it out of bodega. It's just bomb. And this was, I think, like seven bucks. So I absolutely love this thing. I haven't used my Keurig since I bought this, which sucks because I love my Keurig, but... I, I love this thing so, so, so much. So if you're someone that wants like really good Spanish coffee, I use Bustelo in this one, like the little ground up Bustelo, but I want to try other ones. So if you guys have any other coffee, like grounds that you like, leave them down below because I definitely want to try some out and just try different coffees and all that. So that's all I have for food aside from this, but these are like my life favorites. These are my Flips chocolate covered pretzels. You guys know I love chocolate covered pretzels. I'm starting to get a fever again. Oh my God, I should turn on my lights. So cute, right? Anyways, I get sidetracked so easily. Now I'm gonna go into like a random favorite and it is a candle. You guys know I love my candles. I mean, every girl likes candles. This one I bought about two weeks ago at Bath and Body Works and it's called Frozen Lake from Camp Winter. So the packaging looks like this. I like it, it's like a really rustic feel. It smells like a man like clean water it's so stupid because I can't really describe this but the notes are juniper berry eucalyptus and lavender essential oils that's probably why I like it because I love lavender and eucalyptus but this just smells so good every time I've had it like one of my friends comes over all the time for me to blow dry her hair she's like what is that smell and it's always been this candle I actually stopped burning it because I'm almost out of it and I don't want it to end I have like weird separation anxieties with my candles it's really weird like Tyler forces me to throw them away when there's no wick left because I'll, I'll keep them. Like I keep the empty things just because I'm like, I don't want to smell it again. I'm really weird. But if you can still get your hand on, hands on this, this one is the three wick. It's $24.50, the original price, but I got them when they were on sale for 10 bucks. So if you can buy this frozen lake, you will not be disappointed. It's amazing. Now for my clothing favorites. I have two pairs of clothes and two pairs of shoes. So the first shoes, you guys, you guys know what these are. I've worn these a few times actually and I just, I love them. There's nothing more to say about them aside from the fact that I love them. I love the style, I love the fit, I love this part, I love the heel, I love the color. They're comfortable to walk in. I just really like these. I wore these for my friends giving with all my best friends and they were just so comfortable. I wore them the whole night and then I wore them again and I just, I really like them like a lot. So these are from Forever 21 if you didn't see my big haul. But yeah, I really like these. I think they still have them in black and in red. So I'll link them down below if they still have them available. And you guys can check them out. But I love them. Another pair of shoes that I also got from Forever 21 are these. Wow, that's funny. Both of these are patent leather. These patent leather like blush nudie booties. And I, most of you guys, if you guys have been following me for a long time, you know my style. I am very girly. I am always 
Like, I always like to wear heels. I like to wear blouses. Like, I'm really girly. So, when I saw these, I was really surprised that I was so intrigued by them. But I'm noticing my style is starting to shift a little bit. I still love my heels and I love all that stuff. But, I don't know. Like, these caught my attention and they just look so cute for the fall. They're extremely comfortable. They look cute with everything. Like, I love them so much. I'm going to wear this shit out of these the rest of the year. Like, I really, really like these. These are also from Forever 21. That's funny, both shoes are Forever 21. But I will also link these down below if I can find them. Now, another article of clothing that I have are these jeans that I got from Lola Chutique. And these jeans are so comfortable. I was a big denim person for a long time because I used to work for Diesel. Diesel has the best jeans, hands down. I don't care what anybody says. Best jeans, best designer jeans. If you ever want some, Diesel, they will last you. I still have Diesel jeans. Like, they will last you the rest of your life. They sent me a PR package, and in the PR package was a pair of jeans, and they were a pair of jeans that I chose, so I was like, oh, let me try some of their jeans. I don't really do other jeans. I stay with what I know because it's hard. You guys know ordering jeans online is not easy. So when I got these jeans, I was pleasantly surprised the stretch on them is phenomenal, like insane. They fit at the perfect like waist area. They're not high waisted, but they're not low rise. They're like a perfect mid rise. The knees have cuts in them and then the bottoms are free. So I absolutely love these. They sent me these in a nine and I'm pretty sure I ordered a seven. So they do fit me a little bit loose, but I don't mind that at all. I don't like my jeans super, super tight. I get really uncomfortable if my jeans are too tight. So I freaking love these. If I can find them down below, I will definitely leave them because I've had a couple people on my Instagram actually write me asking me about these jeans and I love them. And with Lola Chutique, I actually have a coupon code. I'm pretty sure it's Ivana20, but I'll leave it down below and it gives you, I think, 15% off of your purchase. But I really, really, really like these jeans. Now, the last thing that I have for my favorites is this sweater. And if you follow me on it, wow, now I have to wash it again. I literally just washed it. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me post it. This is my favorite clothing piece that I own right now. I am in love with it. It's a bat wing sweater like if you see the wings open up really really big it's cropped and like it comes up like right underneath right underneath your boobs but like right above your belly button and it's super loose it's so comfortable this v like comes down pretty it's a very sexy sweater like for a sweater to be sexy is different but i just i love this and this is from urban outfitters i paid i think 60 bucks for this and it was on sale for black friday and i was so mad i was like wow of course but I bought, I have this and I am, I don't even care that I paid full price for it and I wish I would have gotten it in black because they did also have it in black, but I absolutely love it. If you're looking for an amazing, and it's so thick, like you can feel the quality in the sweater. If you're looking for a bomb ass sweater, I will link this down below because you will not be disappointed. So I completely forgot about a pair of boots, so I'm gonna add them in here. And these are my Jenny from the Block boots. And I know you guys have seen me post these. I've worn these so many times. like. Every time I go to shoot for my blog, I'm like, oh my god, I've already worn these like so many times. But I don't care because I really like them that much. They are in olive green, tie up all the way up. They just look like bad bitch boots. Like I wear these and I feel like, tell me, tell me something. Like don't pull me over. Don't tell me I was speeding. I wasn't. Even if I was, because I'm wearing my boots. These go so well with dresses, with shorts, with jeans with sweaters casual comfy you could probably wear these with sweats and they would still look so hot so i absolutely love these these are also from lola chutique i want these in every single color that is how much i love them i love 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 these boots these were definitely a favorite for the month so now for beauty and i'm just gonna scoot up and by the way i filmed a tutorial on this makeup and i'm so mad because when i went to edit it two clips like two of the clips of it were good and then the ending two clips were completely blurry so i had to delete it so if you guys want to see a tutorial on this please let me know i filmed it earlier and i was so excited and i can't show it anyways some beauty favorites that i have so i have some foundations i have primer i have just a ton of things so i'm just gonna get into it so the first thing that I want to talk about is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Primer and moisturizer in one. This is the primer that I'm constantly talking about on my channel. I use it in almost every single video. This is kind of what has helped me. There's a hair on my face. This is what has helped me with my dry skin. My skin is starting to get so dry around my mouth especially and like around my nose because the air is getting colder. 
um, here in Orlando, but this has hyaluronic acid in it. I talk about it in pretty much every single video that I'm doing my makeup. It has hyaluronic acid, and what hyaluronic acid does is it binds moisture from the air to your skin. So it keeps you hydrated consistently, which is amazing, amazing for dry skin. I just love it. It feels like a moisturizer. I don't replace my moisturizer with this. I still do moisturize, and then I go in with this on top of it, and it just makes your skin feel so good, nice and cold. It's just bomb, and with Smashbox, I don't like their... Um, the other photo finish primer, like the pore one, it just doesn't work for my skin. But I love this one. If there is a really, really good hydrating primer, I suggest it would be this one hands down. Hands down. So now for the foundations. I have two different foundations, and one of them is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. And it's this one right here. My shade is a little bit too dark for me right now. It is the shade number 757 golden tan i am gonna buy it in a lighter shade because i like it that much now something has been breaking me out like i broke out like right in between here i broke out on my cheek on my chin i've been breaking out like everywhere so i need to figure out what it is so i'm not using this for right now because i don't know if it's what's breaking me out but i still wanted to talk about it because if it's not what's breaking me out then i feel like everyone needs to try this it looks so healthy on the skin and if you haven't seen my video, it was a drugstore like haul and tutorial or like a haul and makeup look that I'm just trying the new stuff out. Please take a look at how this foundation looks in that video. So many people were writing me and were like, oh my god, this looks so good. So please check this out if you have not already. It's such a good foundation. It's so nice on the skin. It's lightweight. It has a medium coverage, a natural finish. It just looks beautiful. Like it looks fresh on the face. And that's the type of foundation that I like on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't like full coverage. I like something more like this. So definitely check this out. I'm going to see if, if it's what's making me break out. I really hope it's not because I've been trying two different foundations. This one and the next one that I'm about to talk about. And I don't know which one it is that's breaking me out. So yeah, but... Try this out, I promise. The next foundation that I have is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation infused with peach sweet fig cream. It's oil-free 14-hour wear, oil controlling, and photo-friendly, which is this one right here. I am in the shade Sand. And if you guys saw, when I did my wear test of this, I was really matte and I was getting really dry and I was like really light from here to here. I have a feeling it was the hair removal cream that I use, like when I take off like the hair on my face. I'm pretty sure it was that because it hasn't happened to me again. And that day I used a mattifying primer right here and that's where it looked really, really matte. So since that day, I've been using it with the Smashbox primerizer and it has been perfect. It wears beautifully. If you watched my last tutorial, which was... The one with the red lip and the eyes, my holiday look. This is the foundation that I wore and it just looked bomb. Like it looked so freaking good. So I'm really, really liking this foundation. I'm not sure if this is what's breaking me out though, so I have to check. I'm stopping with both of these foundations for now just to see which one's breaking me out so I can start with one or the other. So if you guys have not tried this, I feel like this is a great foundation, especially if you want something matte, long wearing, and something good for pictures. This is your guy. Now for lip colors. I have two lip colors and I'm sorry, but they're both nude one of them is the nyx soft matte lip cream and it's in the shade london this is just a good overall nude i picked this up i used to have it long ago and i completely forgot about like i forgot that it existed and then i saw rosita rosita applebaum hey rose if you watch this all of her videos she's like picks up like hundreds of these every time she sees them so i was like damn if i see it i'm gonna get it and i love it and i'm like damn why have i not been using it it's just a perfect peachy nude which is my favorite nude i love peachy nudes with like a lip liner that's a little bit darker than this this is just literally delicious it's so pretty it looks nice on the lips it looks great on all skin tones i definitely recommend this so rose good recommendation girl another one that i'm loving loving this might be my favorite liquid lipstick at the drugstore is the l'oreal infallible pro matte liquid lipstick in the shade nudist this has been my go-to nude every single day literally every single day this with what lip liner is it Ooh, 1993 lip liner from urban decay and this together are just delicious i love the formula i love how long it lasts i love the color it is the perfect nude for me like i i love nude lips like i'll show you right now this is how it looks with the lip liner right next to it it's just delicious it doesn't dry down to a really intense matte like the Anastasia liquid lipsticks or like the ColourPop ultra matte lips doesn't dry down like that it dries down more of like a satin lip it just feels so good I want to get more of them and it smells I can't smell right now 
I like the way that it smells. It smells pretty good. So if you have not tried the Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks, I highly recommend them. I want to see if they have like reds and like all those different colors because I want every single one of them. And for me to say that about a liquid lipstick, that's a big deal because I like glossy, moisturized lips. I don't like matte lips and I love this. A few more things. So I have been obsessed with this damn butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. It's the bronzer that I am wearing right now. I thought that when I bought this, it was going to be too light because look at it. It looks the same color as my skin, but it looks so beautiful on the skin. I've worn it in every single tutorial that I've posted recently. I've worn this bronzer every single day that I've worn makeup for this month, which has been almost every single day. I absolutely love it. It goes on the skin so nice. I use it in my kit. Like I use it on my freelance kit and I used it for a wedding and all the girls were like oh my god that smells so good I used it today I literally did someone's makeup today and when I put this on her she was like that smells amazing and it's the butter bronzer from physicians formula only thing that I wish is that they had darker shades you need to have darker shades because this is such a great bronzer the formula everything about it is good they just need darker shades really really bad for highlighter this month I have been using the dose of colors mirame highlighter almost every single day and also on my clients this gives you the most intense beaming highlight, like wet looking highlight that I've seen in a long time. Now I do have other highlights that I love just as much, but this one is just so beautiful and I've been wearing it all the time. I really, really like it. The color of it is just like the perfect rose goldy shade. Like look at, look at the reflect on that. It's freaking crazy and it just looks so nice on the skin it doesn't emphasize texture it just looks so good especially on like medium skin tones it's amazing so i absolutely love this and the packaging is freaking perfect like look at that i picked up this l'oreal beauty sponge when i did my um drugstore haul and i have not stopped using this i've used it every single day since i got it i love the texture it's extremely bouncy i don't even have a beauty blender anymore like i threw away my last beauty blender because it was old and getting gross all I have is this, an Anastasia sponge, and a Pure sponge. And I'm going to buy more of these because I love it so much. I'm going to be using them for stocking stuffers, and it's only $5. That's what's insane to me. It's such a great... It's a little bit damp right now because I use it to put my makeup on. But I just love it. It bounces in amazing. It doesn't drink up too much product. Like, I feel like my skin still looks full coverage, and I put my foundation on only with this. It blends my concealer amazing. I use it to pack on my powder. I just love this so l'oreal did an amazing job on like a beauty blender dupe i'm gonna pick up i'm not even joking like five or six more just to have in my kit because i go through these a lot and i want them in my kit and i'm getting them as stocking stuffers because they're amazing so there's one brush specifically that has stood out for me and if you guys saw like three videos ago i did a first impressions on the amazon brush set that i bought and that brush set aside from the brush specifically that i'm gonna talk about that brush set for my kit has been phenomenal. The eyeshadow brushes, the face brushes, the blending, everything has been so good that I'm actually in shock at how good quality those brushes are for being so inexpensive. But this one really, really sticks out for me because of the fact that it goes right into your contour. So I have used this in my kit, specifically in my kit, because um, that's what I bought this for. I bought this for my kit and I used it to just fit right in here to contour the girls' noses. I've used it on myself to contour right in there. It just fits literally, like look at it. Perfect. It just goes right in that little hole. And the brush set that I got was $11.99 for all these brushes. I actually ended up ordering another set of brushes that were just eye brushes, which are these rose gold ones, and they're amazing too. Of course, they're not like up top high quality brushes, but they're really, really good and they get the job done. And I use these on all of my clients. Like these are in my kit now and they're amazing. Like the blendability, everything on them. If you guys want me to do a review and like a wear with the eye brushes that I bought because it was a completely different set they come with like there's a ton of them honestly there's so many all eye brushes so if there's if you guys want me to do a video on that as well leave it down below but I feel like especially for Christmas this would be such a good gift it came with like 12 brushes it came with a lot of brushes so I'll leave them down below as well if you guys want to check them out for lashes I have been using these lashes pretty much in every single tutorial and these are the Dame Boss lashes their Instagram is I am Dame I am the Dame Boss or I am Dame Boss and they're a really cool company it's a small company she reached out to me um, we have a mutual friend and um, she reached out to me and said she wanted to send me some lashes and if I could give her my feedback and let me know, like let her know how I like them so she sent me five pairs and I'm wearing one of them right now actually these are in the style blessed um, they're a little bit more natural a little bit more 
like fluttery, but I do still really, really like them. The two pairs that have stuck out to me the most are the pairs Gold Digger and Girl Power. I've worn these in almost every single picture that you guys have seen me post on Instagram of like my makeup, I have worn these, but these are the two pairs that I've been loving. I'll leave them linked down below, but I absolutely love them. Like they're so good. She sent me a ton of different pairs, but these are the three that I've actually put to the test just cause I like to wear them a couple times to see how they feel on my eyes, to see all that. And I love them. They're comfortable on the eyes. They don't poke my inner or outer corners. They just feel really good, really comfortable, pretty lightweight. And each of these lashes for every $1, sold goes to support women she's really big on like women empowerment and all that and they're cruelty free use reusable and silk so i will leave them down below and i'll leave my coupon code down below as well in case you guys are interested now my last thing is a fragrance and this is the atelier cologne so this is from sephora and it's not specifically a cologne they're unisex but this is in the scent clementine california now when i remember i got this i'm so pissed because i gave it to my sister i got this in gratis uh, like a, a full size of it and i was like meh and I gave it to my sister. I love this so much. They had it as a 100 point perk. Like you could get little like vials like this for 100 points. And I've been wearing it every single day. It kind of reminds me of... I don't know. It just It's citrusy. It definitely is. So if you don't like citrus, you might not like it. But it's like a lemony... Clementine sort of scent. It just smells so good. If you are in Sephora, have them make you a sample. See how it mixes with your chemistry. They last a really long time and it just smells really good once it mixes with my chemistry. I just, I really, really, really like it. So guys, that is everything that I was loving in the month of November. I think once January starts, I'm going to start doing hits and misses or like what I loved and what I didn't love. Just because I've never done them on my channel because I worked at Sephora and I didn't want to you know, I just didn't want to put myself in a weird position. But now that the new year is starting and I don't work at Sephora anymore, I'm thinking of doing that. So please let me know down below what you guys' favorites were. If there's any of the products here that you've tried and you either like or don't like, um, let me know if you think of anything that I should try. I will leave all the links down below. And please let me know if you want to see a look on or a video on this look here. I will refilm it even though it sucks. I will refilm it like tomorrow if you guys do want to see it. Please subscribe if you guys haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.